This is an albatross. This is a football albatross. Football. Let's go see. Oh. And that is my velcro strips. There we go. Okay. I'm doing this to make the football dizzy. Oh, I thought you were winding it up so it would oh, have a I'm nice spiral. Yeah, we need to make sure so it has a nice, nice spiral about coming this down. Is how nice and slow this will come. Here we go. Blink. Now this is an albatross with ailerons, a stock kit. It does have a 3530-1700 kV motor with a 7.6 prop on it. It's using MG90 servos and a 2700 3S battery. I've had flights on this well over 30 minutes, sometimes up in the 40 minute range, if I don't fly like a maniac. So in other words, he's never successfully pulled that off? <laughs> There's some truth to that. Why fly slow? <laughs> see, this is just glide right here. This is just coming in. I'll give it a little bit of throttle to take it back around. I have rudder and ailerons mixed on the right stick just so that I can get the this, this snap roll. This being a long square wing, it doesn't want to be so aerobatic, but I'm forcing it to be, but it does it very well. And it glides well enough to slope for it. Let's bring it in and put the football back on it. That's just gliding. My bomb drop is very simple. I have two rubber bands that stretch up over to a pin that pulls out on this side. And I just stuff the rubber band over the football. When I push the button, if you're looking right here, it just pulls it out and it releases the bomb. Can't be any simpler than that. Get it so at least sits straight here on the plane. Have you done an instructional video on how to make a bomb drop yet? Um, I'm, I think I've done it. I don't remember. It's, if I did, it was years ago. Okay, so there we are. That'll stay so it doesn't steer the airplane. What makes this unique is how aerobatic it is, but yet again, when I, I'm actually gliding right there, that's no power on at all. And the plane is just, it was meant to do this. I know it was, because I designed it. But it will do one of the best little rolls that you've seen. Okay, we're going to come and drop the bomb on us. Here it comes. I'll do the next one farther away so it's a little easier to film. Mm. 
<laughs> that glides really well, doesn't it? Yeah. Glides right over the ground. <laughs> Okay, so I flip my switch and pull it out. I can actually put two bomb drops on this if I have a three position switch. Put this on like this. And here we go. Mm. Drop the bomb out a little bit farther so you can see what it does. This actually can carry a fair load on the bomb drop, too. I've dropped as much as 20 suckers or streamers on them for scouts and stuff. And full soda cans. And a full, well, not on this plane, but I could do it. Here it goes. Boink. But you have to admit, that's one good play in flying. I mean, when you can go from that kind of aerobatics to this kind of glide. And the thing is, is that's hands off the stick right there. That uh, plane wants to fly. It doesn't want to crash. Well, maybe it wants to crash, but it's not going to. Not because of aerodynamics. It's all EPP. I have wrecked this one a few times doing strange things, but like doing limbo. Oh, I thought you meant strange things like trying to cut your lawn inverted or something. I've done that too. For future reference, that's not a very efficient way to mow one's lawn. Oh, you get one spot pretty good. But the problem is that the blade isn't flat, so you end up with like a canyon shape. Some people are flat. Here, let's go pick up the bomb again here. So the guy, let's see. My target is now, can I land on the bomb? No, missed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reason I like this kind of bomb, for several reasons, one of which is they're only a dollar at the dollar store. <laughs> and if you lose one, you haven't lost everything. But it's big enough that the rubber band hangs onto it pretty well for this kind of thing. And also, if you drop it on someone's head, accidentally, of course, uh, it won't kill them. So. And if you're not afraid of investing a few more bucks, you can get some that whistle. So you actually get the effect of actually dropping a bomb. Now, I haven't ever tried launching the bomb as I'm going up. What, what would it do if while I'm doing one of my climbs, I release the bomb? Should we try it? Let's see. Okay, I've got to get... I want it so that the bomb is on our side of the plane when we do this. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I heard a hit. That was a thump. <laughs> yeah. We should make a new event where you put a target on the ground and get everybody out there with bomb drop planes. 
That's an old event. Well, it's an old event, but it hasn't been done for a while, at least in our no, swarms. Not here. Okay. My pin is on that side, which lets me drop from both sides. But I'm actually going to pull that back over to this side. And I found that if I just put the rubber band on it, it sticks. So I put a washer on there so that it has a quick release. And then just put that on so that it's stuck. But it's got a it's got a washer. Probably won't focus in that close, but yeah. But the uh, the washer just goes over the pin. The, and the the wire is just hooked into the arm of the servo that's inside the fuselage right there. Just comes out both sides. <laughs> kind of funny when it's going up when it launches.